please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'll be giving you the layout for the college house in my Bloxburg Family Roleplay series. The price for this layout will be on the screen. And as always, if you do decide to rebuild this house for social media purposes, please give me credits by tagging me in your description box or mentioning me in your video. And with that being said, let's get started. It's honestly so weird just seeing the houses like this whenever I do layout videos. But I also quickly just wanted to mention something. Um, when I do layout videos, a lot of you guys ask me to like furnish the house too. And I don't do that because it would just take a really long time for me to redecorate everything the exact same, especially if I do like custom build hacks and stuff. So that's why I don't do that. And I really hope you guys can understand, but I do try my best to give you guys most of the layouts for builds that you guys like. So I hope you guys can appreciate that but here is the house of course i'm gonna go into build mode in a second but i did um make a raised like sidewalk i guess you would call it or just like a little step using the basic shapes i think little details like this make your builds look so much better but yeah this house isn't big it's literally just a college house it's enough for Layla and Adrian in my series. So it's not really meant for a big family or anything. But of course, if you do want to upgrade this house and make it bigger and add some more rooms, feel free to do that. You don't always have to, you know, copy everything the exact same. So yeah, I just wanted to get all of that out the way. And now let's hop into build mode. As you can see, I did already place down the floors, the pillars, and the stairs just to save myself some time. But as I'm building the walls, I will tell you guys like which rooms are which and then here is the layout for the upstairs so just feel free to take some screenshots if that'll make it easier for you guys to follow along so um this wall right here is where the front door is and then this is the walkway entryway area um but you do want to make sure to break up the walls like this because like yes this is a part of the entryway but like this is the bathroom and this is the kitchen. So you want to be able to color them differently um, if you want to do that. So just remember to break up the walls um, when you need to. So let's just fill this in. And then we have the dining area. Again, it's a really small house, but it works. And that's that. And then here's the kitchen. So let's fill that in. And then this is the restroom. So we have the counter space and the toilet and the washer and dryer are also in here. So it's a really functional bathroom. And then in here, this is where the bath and shower is. So that's everything for the downstairs. Again, pretty simple. Let's go upstairs now. So we're not gonna fill in any walls over here. We're just gonna follow the pink fence. So this is like the stair landing um, and like a little hallway to get to the door to the bedroom. So um, this space is just so you can walk up the stairs, of course. This entire section is the bedroom. This is Adrian's side. This is Layla's side and here is their closet i love making closets in bloxburg it's so much fun and just adds so much more to your build just so like the room isn't just one ginormous room like i love to give the room a little definition a little shape so i would definitely recommend trying stuff like that out with your build so those are all of the walls and now what i'm gonna go ahead and do Mm, I think I'll place the wall trim down just to get that over with. So the wall trim that I used is the flat crown molding. So we're going to place that down in certain spots on the exterior. So not everywhere, but we're going to do it right here. If we go to the side, we're going to place it over here. And also along the back wall 
for the second story. And that's it for the exterior wall trim. But for the interior, actually, let me go ahead and just um, color this now so we can just get that over with my friends call me extra and crazy but there is definitely a difference between institutional white and the regular white i mean if there wasn't a difference they wouldn't have different names but we're gonna place this everywhere pretty much so the entire bedroom and in this little section as well and that's it for the upstairs so if we go downstairs we're gonna be placing the wall trim here just not on this wall and now for the rest of the rooms um yeah they all are gonna have wall trim so we're all done with that but if you haven't already please remember to place down the pillars as well um just in case anyone forgot we are gonna delete this because we don't need it anymore okay that's all gone we can honestly delete that too we'll worry about the landscaping later but um we are gonna place wall trim at the bottom so let's go back and we're just gonna use this one the flat baseboard and that's gonna go along the exterior uh-oh we're missing a pillar oopsies no biggie we're all good the layout is okay oops i missed this too okay i think we're in the clear but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and place the wall trim along the exterior of the first floor so on all of the walls just like that it's actually really not needed on this wall so we can just delete it because you can't really see it so it, it really doesn't matter you can have it there or not and now what we're gonna do is place down the doors and the windows so for the front door well for all of the doors basically i use the traditional door for the majority um, I did actually raise it up a bit because we do have this. So let's change the height just so it matches up with the little step. If you do decide to use this step, I think you should if you, re if you rebuild this. And now let's go ahead and color it. So now I'm going to copy this door and we're going to put it here. And then if we go upstairs... It's also gonna go right over here. So now let's go back down and we're gonna need an archway, like the door frame. We're gonna use this one. And the door frame also goes over here. Um, For the back door, I used the traditional French door and we're gonna just place that in the center. And I believe the last door well second to last door they're both sliding doors so for the shower and bath one i use the clear sliding door i don't exactly remember what color everything is probably something like that and then if we go upstairs the final door is the closet door so i just use the traditional sliding one are we shocked no this one right here yes it's kind of gonna stick through the wall it is what it is if that bothers you you don't have to add a closet but you guys never really see the back part of the house in the series so i think it's okay start putting in the windows okay yeah we should definitely do that the main window i used is the traditional window just to match the theme with the doors and stuff so let's add this there and we're also gonna go and get the the shutters just so we can copy everything and make this faster now we're gonna copy this and put it right there in the center i believe they're also here as well oh it is over here too all right and then if we go upstairs the window is right here i know it's here for sure those are all the placement for that specific window but let's stay upstairs for a second so let's go back to windows the sunset window 
is used, but we are gonna resize it just a little bit, like literally the smallest amount like this. And then I also think it's raised up just a tiny bit. Oh, the sunset window is somewhere else. It is right here. But for this one, I didn't resize it. So it's just the exact same as when you first get it. I used the traditional double window and that goes right there. And I believe this one is also resized just a little. So we'll just, we'll just do a little something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how much I resized it. Just like that. And then our final windows, both of them are the sunset window, the small sunset window. So this sunset window um, will be resized to be smaller because it's supposed to fit in between the sink and the cabinets so we'll just make it about this size and for these windows i did not add shutters yeah but this one is gonna go right here and the last thing i have to do for the windows is color them all to match so here's an overview of where all of the windows and the doors should be and now what we have to do is add the roof color the walls and do a bit of landscaping in the front so first off we're gonna take the gable roof and we're gonna put it over here perfect that looks great and next we're gonna do this so we're gonna fill in this spot right here but what you're gonna do is lower the roof so you can't see it like peeking out like this like this is what we don't want for this house so just lower it a little bit and we have the roof for the second floor but now we are going to add the finishing touches by using the slanted roof well as over here okay so the roof has been placed and before we go ahead and color that i'm gonna go ahead and just uh start the little landscaping process so we have the farm fence right here the minor stone wall is here as well as underneath and now we'll go ahead and place down some trees and flowers now everything is pretty much done i just have to go ahead and color everything by the day we found a way birds of a feather they fly together okay so i finally finished coloring everything and this is how to build the college house Okay everyone, well I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong